Good morning, everybody. Here we are again. I did manage to make some progress last night in prepping this for chopping the frame. You'll see the welds that glued together these 24 inch sections have been ground flat. I did that so that I could scribe a nice straight line and so that my cutoff wheels were not working um, excessively because they are expensive. You don't want to burn through those unnecessarily. Everything that was going to be in the way, like a wiring harness, brake line, got those disattached from the frame. You see, I did drop the drive shaft. This drive shaft will have to be cut, shortened. You'll notice too, from last episode, I put blocks underneath of the passenger side of this vehicle to make it fairly level from left to right. The game plan going forward is going to be to jack up, or rather put jack stands under, this end of the frame to keep it from tipping forward. And then the front end of the frame here to keep the truck from landing backwards. So all, all of that is pretty tricky, pretty tricky, because we're dealing with not gravel or concrete, we're dealing with, in some cases, mud. And so you have to use boards. Plywood if you have it, that's helpful. Uh, but if you don't have that, you can do things like uh, take the old stake side bed off of the truck and then begin cutting it up to use as shim stock, to use as uh, base bases for your jack stands. So I'm going to use my power saw and cut sections out of these um, these oak boards to use to stack underneath this truck to support it while it's being cut. So once that section is dropped out, I then have these angle iron that are going to be bracketed or you could say uh, clamped underneath of each each uh, frame end kind of across a gap they're going to be clamped loosely enough so that when I take my winch I wrap my winch around this frame member and this frame member I can winch both halves of this truck together across that angle <clears throat> when the two made up I'm going to use other flat stock to hold it together while I put some tacks on it so that's the game plan a couple of things that should be noted is that once the drive shaft is dropped there's really nothing keeping this frame from rolling uh, this frame in the back, because it's uh, there's nothing keeping it from rolling, it will freewheel. And also because, compared to the cab, the rear frame is lighter. This this is the uh, the half of the frame that's going to be um, that's going to be uh, mobile. Uh, this half of the frame is going to be pretty well locked down. It's going to sit on jack stands immovable and then I'm going to slide this frame forward to meet up with this seam to weld so a couple of things have to happen it has to have on this side at least two more feet of shim to ride on so I'm kind of out of boards and that's why I'm cutting up I'm cutting up the old oak And these are my jack stands. So this is very low tech, as you can see. There's, uh, there's not a whole lot to my setup here. I'm using a lot of borrowed items. Jack stands are borrowed. My steel stock is borrowed. Uh, my wood is salvaged. And the welding is the the welding is going to be done with a little a little uh, 100 amp. Forney welder that I got off of eBay. 
the uh, uh, the, the whole job is about as low-tech as I can make it and so one of the reasons I'm doing these videos is to show anyone who's interested exactly what can be accomplished with very little so to recap how this has been demonstrated so far I first got a truck local if you want to restore something quickly easily cheaply I'd say go with a the truck they're a lot cheaper to buy parts for you if you have to buy parts and the end product people tend to not scrutinize a truck as much as they do a car so no matter what simply by virtue of being a truck whatever you do to it is going to be nicer than if you had bought say a nice uh, Camaro a Nova Chevelle etc people are going to be very forgiving with uh, what this truck turns into you know basically if it's roadworthy and shiny it gets a pass and that's that's good because if you actually plan on using this truck then uh, you don't want it to be extremely nice you don't want to fret over every little scratch or every new dent so a lot can be accomplished with very little that's my point this truck so much of it is shot so much of it is in need of replacement so much of it is on the verge of not being repairable and uh, I want to I wanted to demonstrate step by step that you can you can bring home a heap like this and turn it into something uh, turn it into something worth having so I'll give everyone an update once this is dropped out and I begin drawing the back end up to the front. But until then, stay warm. Bye-bye.